The cell cycle consists of three components, interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. A cell is in interphase for the majority of its life. An interphase consists of G1, S, and G2. In G1, enzymes are made. In S, the DNA is copied for mitosis. And in G2, the rest of the organelles that are needed are copied. The most important part of the cell cycle is to get the genome over to the next cell, which occurs in mitosis. Mitosis is a very important part of the cell cycle. It is used for survival, the making of new cells, growth and development, and tissue renewal. The chromosomes consist of two sister chromatids, which are joined together at their centromeres, which also have connective cores attached to them. Mitosis consists of four phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. In prophase, the chromatin condenses into chromosomes. The centrioles migrate to opposite poles, and the chromosomes move to the center of the cell, and the mitotic spindle starts to appear. In metaphase, the spindle forms, and the chromosomes line up on the metaphase plate in the middle of the cell, where a spindle microtubule attaches to the connecticores. In anaphase, the connecticores pull the sister chromatids apart, leaving them each as their own separate chromosome with their own centromeres. Thus, there will be twice as many chromosomes in anaphase as there were in metaphase. In telophase, in each of the two new daughter cells, the chromosomes gather at the poles while the nuclear membrane begins to reappear and then the chromosomes unwind into chromatin again. The end of telophase marks the end of mitosis and the beginning of cytokinesis or the division of the cytoplasm. In animal cells for cytokinesis, the membrane constricts in a ring around the middle of the cell called a cleavage furrow and it pinches the two cells separate from each other. For cytokinesis of the plant cells, membrane vesicles form in the metaphase plate to form a cell plate and then later cell wall will be formed to separate the new cells. At the end of mitosis, the two daughter cells created will be identical to the parent cell with the exact same number of chromosomes. Meiosis is the process of creating gametes. Meiosis is important because it creates the cells that create life and it allows for genetic variation. Meiosis is in two parts. Meiosis 1 is the separation of the homologous chromosomes. And meiosis 2 is the separation of the sister chromatids. Most cells have a diploid number of chromosomes represented by 2n, whereas gametes have a haploid number of chromosomes represented as n. After the DNA is copied, in prophase 1, tetrads form, which are two homologous chromosomes together. In metaphase 1, as the spindle forms, the tetrads line up on the metaphase plate. In anaphase 1, the microtubules pull the homologous chromosomes apart, but leaving the sister chromatids together, which leaves a haploid number of chromosomes. In telophase 1 and cytokinesis, the two daughter cells split apart. That is when meiosis 2 begins, starting with prophase 2, in which the chromosomes form and the centrioles move to opposite poles. In metaphase 2, the chromosomes line up on the metaphase plate and the microtubules start to form the spindle. In anaphase 2, the sister chromatids are finally pulled apart, thus making them their own chromosomes. In telophase 2 and cytokinesis, the chromosomes start to unwind into chromatin again, and the daughter cells separate from each other. Meiosis results in four daughter cells, each with a haploid number of chromosomes. Mitosis and meiosis are both very similar and very different from each other. Mitosis and meiosis are similar to each other in the sense that they both start by doubling the amount of DNA. Then cells divide using prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase in both. Mitosis is more similar to meiosis too because the sister chromatids are pulled apart in both. They differ because meiosis has two divisions whereas mitosis only has one division. Meiosis ends up with four daughter cells each with a haploid number of chromosomes whereas mitosis ends up with two daughter cells each with a diploid number of chromosomes. So mitosis makes somatic cells and meiosis makes gametes. So, that is the wonderful world of mitosis and meiosis. We hope you have enjoyed and learned something. Have a great day.